everybody, what is up? Today is the day that we're gonna be talking about things to do in quarantine, Disney edition. Now that I'm sitting comfortably with my little schmicky here, um, I'm gonna say that Disney puts on productions with the Disney on Broadway company. And if you don't know what that is, and if you've been living under a rock, um, Beauty and the Beast was a musical started on Broadway that basically set off this entire sequence of your classic Disney films being put into musical format. And let me just say, it's amazing. And Disney fans and freaks and geeks and everybody out there do not appreciate them enough. Disney on Broadway, severely underrated because I feel that people are too attached to the classic films that they were based off of. Totally okay, I'm not saying it's bad to hate the classics. I get it, all right? But here's the thing. The musicals actually give a bigger and broader perspective to different characters in those scenarios. Like, for example, in the Little Mermaid Broadway production from 2006, starring Sierra Bogus, they also had a bigger, sort of broader spectrum of what she was like to be voiceless. So she was able to portray it in a different way that was fun and not in the film. So I really think it's important to bring that up. For example, I'm also gonna bring up that there was a song cut from the original version of Aladdin back from the cartoon in the 90s that was able to make it to the Broadway production, giving more of a background to Aladdin's character and where his family is at and why they aren't there. So I think it's better to listen to because if you wanna like get more into like the history of the character and what their like actual perspective is, Disney on Broadway does an excellent job of doing that. They really put on a bigger like synopsis of each character that I find very, very interesting and I find it's very severely underrated. So go ahead and listen to that, please. I guarantee you that you're gonna love at least one musical. The Disney on Broadway production company have put on musicals from the following films. Newsies, Lion King, Little Mermaid, Frozen, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, Mary Poppins, and Freaky Friday. <laughs> that last one, I, I don't know about that one, to be honest. I haven't listened to it completely yet, but there's another one that they made originally, as in I don't think it was a film, or maybe it was and it just didn't get enough love, and they wanted to re, like, reintroduce it to everybody, but it's called Ida. I gotta do more fact checking, maybe for the next video I'll probably talk more about any of these productions. Those are all the ones that made it on Broadway. Now there is one from the Hunchback of Notre Dame film that was also put into a musical production, but I am not putting that in this list specifically because it was at the La Jolla Playhouse and not in New York, so it wasn't really Broadway. Disney Broadway associated. I wasn't able to put that on there. I wish I could. It'd be at the top of my list for sure. Like I love that musical so much. But if you want to listen to Disney on Broadway specifically, the following that were named, good to go. I'm sure there's a good handful, but I feel like the Disney on Broadway fandom isn't really... Wait a minute. Here's the thing about Disney on Broadway that I feel needs to be put more in the Disney universe. Reason being, there's franchises like the Star Wars franchise. You've got the Marvel franchise, which is actually doing amazing. Then we've also got Pixar. We've also got the Disney Parks. Oh, it's right, change shirts. Um, <laughs> we've also got the Disney Parks friends. But the Broadway franchise, specifically Disney's, is... I don't want to say it's not doing horribly because it's not. Like, everybody loves them. But because there's movies out there from productions and they don't really feel they need to watch the musical, I feel that it needs more attention. Disney on Broadway! Disney on Broadway! I have special news, all right? I'm so excited for this because nobody knows this yet. What production was in 2012 that made just every, just everyone obsessed? And when I mean everyone, I mean everyone. Obviously the fad kind of died because the show closed, but anyway, Newsies was a production that changed my life. I'm obsessed with Newsies. I don't have a shirt, sadly, which is shocking. Newsies is a good production that was based off of the film from the 90s. They reintroduced it into musical format and it just fits so perfectly. Like, I'm so, so obsessed with it. The cast that's in the Newsies Broadway production literally has like superhuman talent. Like, I don't understand how they're not 
like movie stars yet. We do have a couple of newsies that are going to be in the West Side Story film, hopefully coming out later this year. But other than that, they need to get more famous, to be honest. All of them do. Like, that is the show that changed my life. I am obsessed with that show. They released a videotape version on Disney Plus, so please, please, please watch it for me. Please. I was able to book Carol Lindsay through Cameo. I was able to book her and ask her a couple questions for a mini Q&A for this video. I really, really hope you guys like it. I'm so excited. I haven't seen the video yet. I've been waiting for like, I kid you not, probably like two weeks, maybe even three. Whoa. Okay, so if you don't know who she is, she was in Newsies. She originated the character of Catherine, which is not a character from the film. And if you guys don't know who that is, I'm not gonna get into it too much. She's just one of my dream roles that I wanna play. But because Carol Lindsay, who we're about to talk to right now through Cameo, created the character herself, she made it really authentic and really a real feminist and a real power girl, someone who's really strong. She actually originated it from scratch. She did the whole thing herself and she was able to be the first person ever to play that character. And she really empowered me by seeing her like play that role because her vibrato, unbelievably strong. Her kicks, unbelievably high. Like she's just so talented and I just, I just wanna be her for a day. So I was very excited when I saw that she was on Cameo. I was like, um, yes, I'm booking this girl. She needs to do a Q&A with me so I can actually get some fun, fun entertainment for all of you. Because if you guys don't know her, now is the perfect chance to actually listen to the music that she's been involved in and listen to the Broadway style that you should know and love. I have the cameo. I want to cry. I'm shaking. I'm, I'm, qui I'm shaking. I'm quaking. I'm hyperventilating. I don't know if that rhymes, but it came in Tuesday, April 28th. So it's been 10 days. I'm exaggerating. Why did it feel like it was three weeks? I said it was three weeks. I've been waiting for like, I kid you not, probably like two weeks, maybe even three. What is wrong with me? Oh, okay. It's right here. It's right here. Am I crying? Oh my god! Oh my god. It's hitting me. Ah! Ah! It says, oh shoot, let me move my face. Poor Victoria Camacho. That's me! That's me! I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry. I promised myself I wasn't gonna cry because that's embarrassing and that's stupid. How dare I? She's looking right at me. I'm so shook. <laughs> oh my god! I need to stop! Ah! Oh, I'm ridiculous. What is wrong with me? Oh my god! I booked this for myself. I literally paid her money. Well, she's giving it to the Actors' Equity Fund, which if you don't know what that is, I'm putting it in the description. Um, I, I gave her money, basically, to do this for me, and I'm still freaking out, even though I, I'm so stupid. What else did she do that I can name? Um, she also did Wicked, she was Glinda, and that one was also very iconic. She's a very upbeat, positive person. She's got that light in her that can just play it off so well. It just, ugh, it amazes me, honestly. She was also in Beautiful, the Carole King musical. On the last two musicals that I just named, they're not Disney productions, but I just thought I'd bring that up because she's so amazing and she's so talented. For her to be on Broadway three times. Wow. Nobody here's freaking out but me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Good thing I needed a second to talk about that. Oh my gosh, I needed to breathe. She's like looking right at me and it just got me. My hopes are super high. I, mmm, please don't cry. I don't want to cry. No, I just paid her money. I just paid her money. I, I literally paid her to do this. Why am I freaking out? <laughs> I need to chill. <sighs> okay, here I am, all right? Here it is. Carol Lindsay, my icon, my queen, the woman that I've been literally talking about for at least like 20 minutes, but I had to cut down, I'm sure. <sighs> so the questions that I asked her, oh my gosh, I should probably say the questions first. I, what if she didn't say them? 
Did I scream? Hmm. Yeah, oh my gosh, what if I didn't tell you guys the questions and she was just saying the answers? Oof, that would have been bad. So I requested her questions to be... Favorite underrated musical? What is her best audition song? Which Broadway role would she revive again? That was another... That was a good question that I was curious about. I think I asked her another one, but I'm not 100% sure. Only one way to find out! Here we go. I need to chill. Okay. Okay. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, I'm sorry. I can't stop freaking out. Ah! Okay. Hi, Victoria. Thank you for um, your questions. This is so neat. Um, so, uh, favorite underrated musical? Um, I love Baby. I love that musical. Never heard of it. Uh, so I guess that would be it. But I don't know if it's underrated or not. I just feel like it kind of, you know, it's, it's from the past. So I kind of want to bring it back. I'm going to listen to uh, it. Best audition song. I love singing Mr. Snow. I've been singing Aww. Mr. Snow from Carousel for many That's years. That's a good one. Oh, college, my God. So I love that song. Uh, which Broadway role would I like to revisit? Um, any of them? <laughs> Uh, but I think I, I've revisited Glinda quite a bit, and I love going back to um, standing in her sparkly pink shoes. Um, but really, any of them. So, I don't know. Uh, any messages for musical fans? Oh. Uh, don't stop listening to cast albums, and don't stop being creative. Uh, this is such a weird, weird time, but I think we need to be... Uh, still putting ourselves out there and uh, being creative with one another uh, as best we can. And um, yeah, I'm thinking about you all and post yourself singing on Instagram and tag me. I want to watch you. Um, just like Laura Benanti did the Sunshine Songs uh, so that we can all be your audience and we can be each other's audience. I think that's important. So um, I'm here to encourage that. Oh my gosh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is she telling me that if I sing in a video, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going to get back to everything else that she was just talking about. If she tells me that I'm going to sing in a video and that I need to tag her, does that mean that, that I can, that she'll see how I sing? Oh my gosh, if she sees how I sing. Oh my gosh, if she sees how I sing. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I hope I wasn't doing it, but I was kind of nodding in my head. Like, I was going... Like, as if she was talking to me. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Why would I do that? I hope I wasn't nodding. I'm gonna look back at the footage and think I'm so crazy. I'm not gonna stop watching this, to be honest. I'm probably gonna watch it another 12 times. But there you have it! Our queen! Our Kara Lindsay! Our... Our Kara Lindsay! Our Kara Lindsay. The genius that has inspired me since 2012. I'm just gonna say it right now. She's a genius. I love her. I don't know how I'm gonna top that. I literally don't know how I'm gonna top that. I've never been more excited in my entire life. That was like the peak of my existence right there. I can't believe that just happened. Like, wow. This video, man, it's going crazy. She said it perfectly. Listen to cast albums. This is exactly... I wasn't even planning on, like, having the two topics, like, me. And she literally put it together. Okay, so... Obviously, as I was saying before, Broadway, it needs to be more out there in the Disney spectrum. So put it out there, alright? Listen to her. She's a legend. That's it for this video. Oh, actually, this video's kind of getting long. Should I make that announcement? Follow my Instagram pages, alright? Alright? Bye.